It smells like baby clothes. I love it. It's just beautiful. David, are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much noise? You're slamming the doors. I'm just checking if you're... Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Show an opinion. It was the wind. Apologies. Oops. Okay. Please put that in the video. Sorry. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Hey, boy, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shalota. If you're new here, I am currently 31 weeks pregnant. We are down to single digit countdown. Nine weeks left till due date. Let's see how this last part goes. I live in London, so obviously I have the London version of this hospital bag. Um, UK version, I guess, as well. We don't tend to stay in the hospital very long after birth. We are there for the whole labor, obviously, unless you choose home birth. But if all goes well without complications and no C-sections or anything, we go home three to six hours after birth. So that is why my hospital bag is of this size. This is what I'm going to use for a nappy bag afterwards as well. It's not a massive luggage that I see some of you have packed. So this is my London UK version of a hospital bag. This video is also sponsored by Nord Ace. I'll leave a link to their company and to their website down in the description as well. And I will leave most of the things that I have inside this bag, I'll even leave the links as well in the description in case there is something that you want to get that I have packed in here. But now let's jump straight into what's in the bag. Alright guys, I have emptied all of the stuff from inside this bag out on the table as you can see and this is what we are bringing for our one day stay at the hospital here in London, UK. So if we for any reason need to stay a day or two, we live quite close to the hospital and I'll just kindly ask David to pop home and grab us some things, but even if we needed to stay I think we should be quite okay with this. So, what I will start with is these front pockets over here are quite handy. If I for some reason don't can't grab it myself, I know exactly where it is and then it's easy to direct others to these two pockets as well. So things that I might need urgently from these two pockets I decided to put there and that is nappies and uh, nappy rash cream. I recommend Suda cream. <coughs> it's quite thick. Don't know if you can see that okay. It's quite thick and it leaves a protective layer on the skin. So if for any reason um, the skin gets irritated or leaves a little bit of a red mark it's good to use this one and even just to prevent that pop a layer of that on and then I've packed a few nappies I'm not gonna bring a big package because as said if all goes well we will stay there for that one day if we need more there's a shop downstairs and I'm sure they have at the hospital as well So that goes in here. Nappies. On the other side, I will put wet wipes. And this, these ones are from Asda. It's just Little Angels Sensitive Fragrance Free. These ones are fine for newborns. I do think that in the future I'm gonna order water wipes because I do like them. They are a little bit more wet and the water wipes are basically just water on the wipes so i prefer them but for the hospital to bring a smaller package i'm just gonna put this one so that's in here and then i am bringing two tommy tippy dummies now these are for age zero to two and if you can see these ones are straight 
the gums for newborns are still not developed if you put your tongue up in your gum and feel up here you can feel that it goes like upwards a little bit and that is why the dummies for older kids have the little bump up there but newborns don't have that yet so that is why these straight ones fit better in their mouths I don't know if you knew, but I've been working with quite a few newborn babies here in London and I've helped first time mums to settle their newborns and help them with their routines and sorting their nurseries and whatnot. So that is why I'm used to these UK brands, Tommy TP, but I mean, it can be any brand. Just see that it's straight so it doesn't have that little bump in the front for the first two months and then this one this is a clip I found this on Amazon it's a wooden one you clip it to the clothes attach the dummy over here so it doesn't fall down on the hospital floor because you know it's a public hospital and people come and go and you want to keep the, the dummies clean so that is why this one is very good to bring I'm going to put that in a zip bag, like that, squeeze up the air, pop it in here. In Finland I also studied to be something that we call Narvodre, I'm Finnish, Finnish Swedish, so in Swedish it's called Narvodre for children and youth. Uh, the English translation, you don't have the exact same degree because it's quite broad, but it is basically a licensed nurse for children and youth. So I was working with prematurely born babies in the hospital in Finland and uh, also at the children's ward. From there, I learned a few things as well that I will share with you in this video. Two more things to go in the front pockets and that is actually three. Three more things to go in the front pockets. Hand sanitizer, phone charger, and an eye mask. And actually, let's put this one as well, a face mask in the front pocket. Let's see which one has more space, this one. So we all know why we're using face masks and hand sanitizers at the moment. Hopefully by May we won't be needing those in birth, during birth anymore. Because it gets quite hard to gets quite hard to breathe with masks during birth. An eye mask because if you want to try to have a nap while your baby is sleeping and you are in a room with other people and the lights are on, it might be hard to get rest. So an eye mask to rest your eyes goes in there as well. For myself in this bag I am bringing a bikini, just a normal one, because they have a birthing pools and it's quite nice to deal with the contractions in water. I am a, I am a water person, I love having baths and it's so soothing and nice. So I am bringing this, you never know how it actually goes on the day, but in case, I want to have the option of jumping in the pool, birthing pool. So that one, and then I bought a new pajama, and this one as you can see has buttons all the way down, it is super soft, stretchy mater material. I really, really, really love this one. So because of the buttons in the front, it is easy to have breast access for breastfeeding. And also when you want to hold your baby skin to skin, you just open the buttons and it's easy to hold her in there. And it's also very soft for her to lay against. So that is why I bought this one. And this one is from Boohoo can order them online. I think this one was, was it 10 pounds? Not very expensive. So, and that one I can wear afterwards as well. I'm 
when at home. So let's put that in here. I think these ones are great for bringing to the hospital. These are bodysuits and this is first size. Now you wouldn't know exactly what size your baby will be until they are born. So I brought two sizes. These ones are first size and this one is zero to three. So either should fit. I'm gonna put that one a little bit higher on the top. I'm wearing those ones, that type of bodies, and then just socks. I said we're gonna have a May baby, so it shouldn't be too cold. If the hospital feels cold, I also brought pajamas with feet. And this one also has these mittens in here. I asked you guys on Instagram what you brought in your hospital bags and what you think that I should pop in my bag as well. And it was Charlotte from Mummy Cleans who said to bring bodysuits with these mittens that are attached to uh, the arms. So I am actually, I agree with that and that is a great tip. Buy these bodysuits that has the mittens here already because it was Rochelle that mentioned that babies are born with nails and they are very sharp and they e easily scratch their skin. So she was talking about the mittens, but I don't really like mittens per se because they are so small and tiny and the hands are so small that they glide off super easily. So that is why I am using socks instead of the mittens if we don't wear these ones. So I brought two pairs of socks, one for the feet and one for the hands. And then <coughs> we have these ones, depending on how warm or cold it is. I brought three of these, flowery, one gray, and one frilly girly one. So these ones will go first in the bag. Since I don't know if we will be needing them, let's see how cold it is. So these are still inside. Just up there. On the other side, I'm gonna pop the going home outfit because we don't need that from the start. And that is, I bought these kind of uh, trousers with the feet on. Because again, the feet are so small that socks easily glide off. So I prefer these ones for newborns. You can always put the sock, a, a second layer of socks on top if you want. These ones are size 50 to 56 and weight 4.1 kilograms. And to go with that one, we have a bodysuit, it's the same size. Is born 2021. Underneath this one, I'm gonna pop a bodysuit. So that's for going home. And this was a gift from her uncle, our baby girl's uncle. And this is a tiny size, it is 52 to 40. It says weight 3.4 kilograms. So I'm not sure if she's gonna be small enough to fit in this one, but I'm bringing it so that at least she would be able to wear it once or twice before she grows out of it. I love it, it's very cute. Personally, I would have bought a size bigger, but it's okay, it's nice. You can always, when you buy cardigans, if they are bigger, you can always fold them up so you get more use of it. But anyways, it is sweet and I will pack it together with this. Now I do have more zip bags as well, but I'm not gonna put these ones in zip bags yet because we still got two months to go. 
So I'm just thinking they might start smelling if they are packed inside this kind of uh, plastic bags. But I'm gonna put them ready inside here. So I know where I have everything. Before I put anything more, I'm gonna show the inside of this bag. Let me come to this side. So in here, if you want to pack your laptop, there is a pocket for that in here. I'm gonna put my hospital notes in there. Or iPad is here as well, another pocket. Two more pockets here in the back as well, smaller ones. I don't know if you can see that down here. And then on the front side, you got one zip bag over here. And then you got a space for pens in the middle. So, just a pen. And this part over here, if you have um, credit cards or bank cards, there are contactless. Especially here in London, they've been, they've been withdrawing money from people's um, bank cards. And this kind of pockets protects from that. So no one can withdraw any money from your cards unless you are aware of it. So that protects for that. The last thing about the inside over here is this is my own um, charger bank but you can plug it in to the bag and pop it here in the side pocket and that is what's coming out over here so if you're not close to a socket in the wall you can always plug your phone through this one and charge it so i thought that was quite handy Another thing that I'm bringing to muslins, as you know, babies burp a lot and they get sick a lot. So it's nice to have these ones close by to wipe their face and clean them up with and protect your own clothes as well. I brought two of these and you can also use them for breastfeeding, obviously, or bottle feeding if you prefer that. To keep the milk from going everywhere. These ones are super soft and nice. I prefer white ones. They probably will get quite dirty, but never mind. They're not very expensive. So we're gonna start with these two. And then I have a swaddle. And this one is from Aden, Aden and I. This was also a gift from a client. She bought a pack with three of these. I do recommend swaddling because you know, when the babies are here in the tummy they are quite like restricted from free space and when they are born they can stretch their arms everywhere and kick their legs everywhere and it might be challenging to settle them so when they're swaddled in and they have their hands close to their body and they can't kick around that freely it is easier to settle them so it's soothing for the baby I do recommend getting a couple of swaddles to use for the first weeks. You don't really need a sleeping suit in the beginning if you swaddle. You swaddle and add a blanket on top. So these ones go in the bag. <coughs> and then the body suits as I showed you go in here as well. Closer by I might put them in these zip bags to keep them clean. Another thing that I'm bringing, I showed you the socks. The hat is for the same reason as the swaddle as well. They are used to being inside where it's warm and all of a sudden they come outside and it's quite cold for, for the head. So I think in most hospitals they do pop a hat on the newborn babies. I'm gonna bring our own as well. And for vanity, for pictures, we are bringing a little bow. Bow headband. I'll pop those ready in a bag. Like that. 
there we go. Then we've got a water bottle. I do recommend bringing one. I prefer drinking out of this rather than plastic cups in the hospital. And this one is nice because it keeps your water cold. Or if you want to bring a tea or coffee, these ones keep your drinks hot as well. And again with this bag, we got this elastic band here on this side. And you can just pop it straight through there and it stays in here. It also has this bag for a bottle here in the back, but I'm not using it because this bottle is bigger, it's 1.5 liters, so it's quite big. This one is in the bag is okay for a bit smaller bags. You also got a zip bag over here in case you want to bring, bring, I don't know, your wallet or something that you want to get to quickly. You got that in the back. And if you ever decide to travel with this backpack, you also have this. So it fits on your luggage. You slide, you know the, the, the handle that you pull on rolling bags? You slide this one over it and it stays on top of your luggage like that. Yeah? So, a blanket. This one is another gift from a client. It's from White Company. It's quite a big one. And it is very soft. I already washed it. And then it has this silk uh, satin, I think, actually. Satin ribbon here on the side. So it's really soft to touch for the baby. So this one I'm bringing and my mom also knitted, hand knitted a really pretty blanket that I will bring as well for the home journey, a purple one. I'm going to pop a picture of that in my community to show you how that looks. It's in the mail right now. My mom is sending it from Finland, so I can't wait for it to arrive. I'll show you guys how that one looks. But yes, two blankets. And then this bag. Some essentials for me, hairbrush, deodorant, hairband, toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, I brought two of these nursing pads. Milk is not meant to come in before maybe two, three days, so I might not need them, but in case, I got two in here. And these are the sexy hospital knickers. <laughs> they are for one time use, so you wear them and you can put a maternity um, pad inside. You wear them once and then you can tr throw them out. It does get quite messy, so yes, bring that. And then I have a package of maternity pads. These are just from Boots. I brought uh, two pairs of these and I've got more of them to keep here at home as well. I think it's quite individual how long it takes for you to recover after birth. Some say up to six weeks, others say they just had like a normal period afterwards. So it's individual, but be prepared to have some big niggers and some maternity pads. I've seen that some people actually wear like grown-up nappies. I prefer these ones, but that's up to you. I will also be bringing, um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice here. It's one of my pregnancy symptoms. Yeah, I will also be bringing this one that I'm wearing right now to go home in and also maternity bras but I'm still using them so I'm not gonna pack it yet but that's coming with us as well so let's pop these ones inside and that goes in here and on the very top goes the blanket So, as mentioned, I am now 31 weeks pregnant. 
One second, let me pop that camera a bit higher. Yes, so as mentioned, I am now 31 weeks pregnant as of today. And we still got two months to go to our due date, which is on the 40th of May. So <clears throat> I left this pocket up here empty. And here is where I'm gonna put some snacks for us as well, for me and David. But if I buy it now, I will probably eat it way before due date. <laughs> What else? Uh, I'm probably gonna bring some cozy socks as well to walk around in. I won't bring slippers because they just take too much space and I probably won't need them that much. I'd rather keep warm in cozy socks. And yeah, that's about it. If you brought something with you to the hospital that I didn't bring and that was very useful for you, do share in the comment sections below. It is the first time that I'm giving birth, so I probably miss out on a lot of things, but hey, I'm trying to be a minimalist and just bringing the most essential things. So yes, let me know in the comment sections below if I got enough stuff in here or if you think I should pack more. If you're new here, hit the subscribe. If you're pregnant, let me know how far you are and how that's going for you. Where in the world are you and how is your birth birth plan coming along? I would love to hear that from you. Okay? Other than that, I shall see you in the next video. Ha de bra! Oh, one last thing. <coughs> Let me show you a bump update. This is how big this bump is now. And it is actually very hard. You can start feeling where her body is now, where her back is. Her head is still upwards. She's still in breech position, which is fine. And she still have time to spin around. But hopefully she will go head down soon while there is still space to move around in there. She kicks a lot. I saw the doctor yesterday. We heard the heartbeat. All is well. So that is it from what is in my hospital bag. Let's take a thumbnail picture as well. Okay, put it in there maybe. Pull it back a bit. Maybe that one, that could work, right? <laughs>